Hey guys, how's it going? Um, thought I'd show you guys me doing a fuel pump. Uh, me mechanical fuel pump. Old school. Um, this is in my 78 Ford truck. Um, it's been weeping for uh, about a year or so. I just never drive it. So, But it's good to always have it fire up every time you come out to do it. You know, every time you need to use it. So, I'll show you guys how to do it. First off, when you're at the parts store, make sure you give everything right. I'm glad I looked at it. The one I got actually had the wrong seal, had the, the seal for on the sides, which is for like a 351 Windsor or something like that. This one has a 351 modified 400M, whatever you want to call it. But first thing first, before I pull out the old one, I'm going to prep this one. And because I want this gasket to stick on there pretty good. Um, one of my best friends is number two form a gasket. I actually learned about it doing um, boat out drives, stuff like that. You know, it. It cures semi-hard, but it never, it's not like, um, it's not like RTV that is a gasket, but this stuff, it sticks really good, it has a great tack, um, it stays pliable. Slide that over. That'll give it a couple minutes to tack up before I get the old one in, before I start putting the, before I get the old one out. One of those rare chances to use your uh, your hose wrenches, whatever they're called. Can't think of it right now. If it fits. There we go. This one's stationary, but I'll just hold it so I don't snap it off. bottom one there we go not okay, you guys are an engine cam camera is that a bolt it's gonna be one of the annoying ones I gotta hinge out Greased up. I put a liberal amount of grease on my cam lobe pump arm, and I wrote all over it. I like to write dates and install stuff on crap. I don't know why. I just do. Now let's install it. And I put um, some more number two form of gasket sealant on the outside. Now the idea is you want to put the tip in and tip it down, and then bring it up. Make sure you get under that cam lobe. And I did degrease the surface up here too. So I'll just slide that in. Tip it down. Bring it back. Now go get the top one started, and then I'll cinch up the bottom and the top. Wiggling the line back and forth and up and down until I know I got it started. So I got it started on the threads good. So now I can start to snug it up. Let's fire her up. Nice thing about wearing gloves, you always got clean hands. Look at that. Boy, so there you go, guys, that give me crap for wearing gloves. So fire her up.
guys. Hey, if you haven't already, click the little button up there, subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.